no, President Trump's coming at nine. I've only just got up. Not sure he'd be happy with all his business I'm doing with China. Too late. Yeah, I caught it as it was just coming over the over the shed. Right, well that was a bit of a non-event then. If you want to see what happened last year, go and check out my other video. But I think I'm going to mess around with the wind turbine now because there's something I wanted to do. Basically, if you've been watching the videos, you know I've installed a wind turbine, and I've got this regulator here which I want to put in place of this charge controller thing here. So I'm going to swap this over. Now the idea behind this is it's just a straightforward regulator, so it hasn't got any restrictions um, for voltage like this has, because this can handle up to 100 volts. So I'm going to just get this wired up, because it's been something I've been meaning to do for ages. Right, so I'm doing all this live, because there's no other way. I'm going to cut these through wires, and then what I'm going to do is put them onto the phase inputs on the regulator. I don't know if it's still spinning out there. Nah, it's pretty still. Good job really, isn't it? I'm going to solder these wires on here, because I haven't got any of those stupid connectors. So now I need to get these two wires off of here and then connect them to that. Right, I can remove this now. I've got this set up, so all I need to do is just connect that to there. I want to test the voltage here first before I connect it to anything, just to make sure it's all okay. Um, yeah, when the wind turbine starts turning, but at the moment, not looking too good. Got the regulator there, so this comes from the wind turbine. Three phases, not three phase guys, as loads of people in the comments have been I mean, said. It's not three phase, well it is kind of, because it's actually three individual phases. You know what I mean. But anyway, this is the regulator. Then you've got the um, little kind of watt meter on the top, which just shows you what's, what's kind of coming. You can't really see it that clearly in the camera, but basically, and then I've disconnected this wire because that is the one that goes off to the charge controller. So I don't want to plug it into the charge controller just yet, because I want to kind of see what's actually happening here, make sure the voltages are right and the polarity is right, because you never can trust these. Um, labelling all of this stuff. But as usual, because it's summer, there's hardly any wind, but I think it's going to pick up later, so I'll leave this now and then run in here later um, to check it out once the wind picks up. Also, while I'm here, guys, look at this little lot down here. Secret little project going on in the background. All will be revealed soon. Next day now, it's spinning and it's unloaded as well, so better check out what's actually going on in here. Right, so you can see about 20 volts there. That's climbing up, so normally, it would stop at this 30 volt level because that's what the regulator is set to. Now that's a good thing because before it was cutting out before 30 volts because it's a 24 volt controller. Now this basically hasn't got any limit so it should just see I'm, I'm seeing like 35 volts there. Now you want to be careful it doesn't go too high for this controller so I'm going to keep an eye on this. So nothing really happened with the wind turbine yesterday. Anyway, we've come to Eastbourne today and we've just got caught up in this, I don't know really know, it's, it's actually the D-Day celebration thing where there's a flyover. Didn't even realise it was happening today. <laughs> we're pretty really gonna get out of it. <laughs> so they're trying to get me to, they're trying to get me to skateboard. They're trying to get me to skateboard because I've got the boosted board in the back. Time. Trying to get me to skateboard to the pub up there and get some drinks and crisps and stuff. But I'm like, how am I gonna, you can get them with the bottle tops on and put them in a bag for life and come back. Oh god. All the little, all the little wines and beers and stuff have got bottle tops on anyway. Well, right, I'm going to skate down. There's like literally hundreds of people around here. They're going to be like, look at that gun. I know it's never worried me before. But I know. <laughs> it should be quite good though. There's supposed to be a lot of planes coming over. But literally there are so many cars in this car park. I don't even know how we're ever going to get out. <laughs> Everyone's going to go home at the same time. Yeah, exactly. Uh, do we know how long it's actually going on for? We've had no lunch or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> this is literally busier than air, air light show weekend, yeah. yeah. Air light show. Sarah, Sarah's actually told about, about, about this, <laughs> wouldn't you? But you didn't, you didn't relay the information. She said a few planes, planes are going to fly over. <laughs> didn't. She didn't say it's going to be like a national event. <laughs> <laughs> and that is exactly what it is. Everybody's bringing all sorts of like tables and everything. And we just like rocked up. We didn't even know this was happening. Men died because of this. 
trying to save our freedom. That's what you should know. That's what you should know. No, 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 no. Let's find the text message. World the War message. II planes flying over from Duxford tomorrow. We'll be flying over about three-ish. <laughs> well, you didn't even say anything. <laughs> I mean, I, I should know I this. I would have I mean, seen it on the news. It's been on the news for about four or five days. Yeah, it's really bad that we you don't actually bad. don't actually know that this is like a major yeah a major thing. Really. See, and and we were actually coming this way it's anyway. Not flying over where we live, so why would we know? It was coming over yeah. Essex. How jealous of you! This guy's oh, crisps. God. There. <laughs> Still waiting. Love these comments I get on these videos. It's one about the e-bike. Fast. Yours, is it? Fast but uncomfortable. At those speeds, you need proper suspension and a soft saddle, more like a motorbike. Basing an electric bike on a bicycle rather than a motorbike is a fundamental mistake. Nice job, though. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> it's got macaroons now. Are they macaroons or are they mac macarons? <laughs> it's been delayed. They were supposed to take off between 1.40 and 2 p.m. Mm. It's been pushed back to 3.24. What? Take off. Yeah. Way no options because it's delayed. It's going to be like another hour. What are we going to do? Do we A, hour. stay and starve? Or do starve we B? Yeah, but what's stopping them what's stopping them getting to half three and then saying? The thing is, if we'd have planned to come here, then we would have obviously stayed to... Yeah, we would have been equipped for it. Yeah, we're ready. Yeah, but... Paid two pounds to sit here for an hour for no reason. <laughs> You've meditated, you've thought about it, lecture off. But we can see it from down there anyway, because like, we're in the area, aren't we? So well, it's just you're not going to get the best shot from up here. Oh, God, no, you won't get As you would from up here. What do you want to do, Mum? Do you want to wait here? Yeah, it is your birthday fly past. <laughs> <laughs> down to the seafront. Right guys, we're back now. That's all I managed to catch at the event, the 75 years anniversary of D-Day. And I couldn't even get it on film properly because I didn't know about it was gonna happen, so I didn't take a decent lens. And, uh, I don't know, anyway guys. <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed that, it's something a bit different at the end. It was a good day anyway, we had a good time. So today's been a little bit windier, had a little bit more activity on the turbine, so we're definitely working a bit better now. Um, you know, we haven't got that restriction on the on the 30 volts for the, for the controller. I can even hear it spinning up now. It's going good and proper now. Well, we're getting similar numbers between the two now, what's actually going into the charge controller and what's actually, you know, being measured there. But yeah, I'll keep you posted on that. Anyway guys, that's gonna be it for this one. There's one more thing I want to show you. Do you remember I was saying earlier on in the video, secret project coming, I can't resist it any longer. I'm just going to show you a very quick teaser of what's to come. So we get in for now, catch you in the next video.